Hello friends, welcome to the learning module of basics of artificial intelligence. And the priority is making learning a delight with the aspect of learning to learn as a hobby rather than an occasional occurrence. Well friends, this scope of uh, artificial intelligence is known for everybody and it is very very clear on the fact that we are already using this concept in our daily lives to the approach and to the connectivity. What lies as a part of a fragrance is the introduction of this course, this module, the knowledge by the Central Board of Secondary Education, the CBAC for classes 8, 9th and 10th. And it's a novel move, let me tell you. I congratulate the decision makers in implementing this to a very delight for the students. For children already know, ma'am, it is already in the book. Tell us something new. It's a priority these days. And to dwell with great learning aspects of the new age comes with the learning objective to identify and interact with the three domains of AI, that is the computer vision, the data and the natural language processing. Applying the concepts in learning technical skills, the AI readiness encapsulates with the life skills from AI and of course the technical skills of AI. We need to develop the life skills through concept building, fostering life skills and applying the technical skills to make our lives easier and smarter. The very dedication counts on what is intelligence as far as the artificial intelligence. We are going to look forward to a computer-like framework wherein they can incorporate the human-like properties and that's the wow element. It is a concept that a computer can do the same. It can be said that AI is the large science that mimics the human aptitudes. So friends, not to wait more about, we are already into the brief intelligentsia wherein the generation and the concept of AI initiated in 1956. Then of course the news of the natural language came in 1959. The early investment in 1963 and the first smart robo came in 1972. And of course, we have criticisms and limited funds. There was a priority towards more of implementing it towards the scientific applications. And then came the development of the education with the expert systems. The second AI writer came in 1990. And then, of course, the first all to human race in 1997. The generation of big data came in where, you know, the database management came up with a new impact of data hosting and data management. The big sale of AI products came in 2016 and then of course we have the deep learning theory. The AI is a buzzword today. Although this term is not new, we know about its inception. Four bright minds led the project with John McCarthy from Dartmouth College, Marvin Mengsi from Harvard University, Nathaniel Rochester and of course the Claude Shannon all came up with the priority of the purpose of the research project that was to tackle every aspect of learning or any other feature of intelligence that can be principal to be so precisely being described at a machine that can be made to simulate it. The priority talks about AI as a technology and a branch of computer science that deals with the study and the development of intelligent machines and the software. It is the science of making a machine to think and act like an intelligent human being. With the perforation of knowledge, thanks to Scene, Moffitt and the wiki brands for curtsy about the 30 technologies of the next decade, which talks about AI as artificial intelligence. Then we have Internet of Things, mobile, social net, blockchain, big data, cloud computing, mobile technologies, immersive media, robotics, automation. Then we have printing, the 3D printing. Then we have the customer journey experience and the energy tech, the saving, the green revolution, the cyber security, the voice assistance. The geospectacle tech, that is the GPS, mapping and remote sensing, navigation. The human-computer interaction, the facial and the gesture recognition. 
then we have health tech using the smart and the advanced genomics healthcare collaboration through crowdsourcing workplace open source platforms then we have computing medicine smart dust advanced materials like polymers and things like that and then of course we have new tech interface of touch screen 3d touch wireless power bio environment material solutions sustainability treatment and the efficiency and then quantum computing the new screen all together the new projection the leds the micro leds communication geo conferencing we have wifi proximity tech the broadband the fiber the 5g the edge computing and then of course we have smart cities they acknowledge the fact of this lady also sofia the robo who has been given the citizenship of saudi arabia is a priority before all of us as an ability to perform cognitive functions such as perceiving learning reasoning and solving problems are deemed to hold an artificial intelligence which exist when the machine is able to cognitive ability the benchmark for ai is the human level of concerning reasoning speech and the vision what we contribute to and then of course the three levels of ai talks about the narrow ai the general ai and the strong ai in perforation right and then of course we have the ai applications to our real life the very purpose is to harness intelligence and actions to maximize success right and then the types of ai we talks about the very ai itself the machine learning and the deep learning when we talk about machine learning it is an art of the study of algorithms that learn from examples and experiences the machine learning is based on the idea that there exists some patterns in the data that were identified and used for future predictions the difference from hard coding rules is that of the machine learner than its own way of finding rules the next is we have about one of the applications and they have been programmed exclusively for the usage then we have the deep learning concept which incorporates new phase of format in a big way it does not mean that the machine learns in depth but of course it talks about various layers of learning through inception of neural network as a priority at the very time it also encompasses the comparative analysis of ai and machine learning and we have been using ai in our phones and of course the machine learning term was invented in 1950s when scientists began exploring how computers could solve problem on their own so that is an add on to the very set incepture of the modulation the one of the applications we all know about it and uh, of course cpsc also desires applications to the very perforation of learning i'll not much be into it but the drones and the facebook tagging it's all an example of <clears throat> the very concept of ai inception right and uh, here we see an interpret to the very say of learning about gaming the natural language processing the expert systems the vision system and the robotics all come to the perforation of uh, the very scenario and then of course very important thing is the ta uh, turing test in ai where we have one person and then our one computer is placed in another room and the human responded put in another room and the person will ask the question the similar question from both of them and the when the person gets confused about who is the computer and who is the machine that time the level the computer passes the turing test and that is what is the intelligence power of computers we are looking at with bounds and then of course the approach is the knowledge representation which is concerned of the scenario of uh, laminating learning in the best of the possible way and uh, of course the different types of the language natural language processing talks about metaphorical analysis and then uh, syntax analysis and the semantic analysis and the pragmatic analysis all be governed to that learning as a say 
In addition to this, there are some chatbots also, the chatbots which relate to learning in a big way about uh, very similar digital assistants and if we study more about it uh, in uh, ground of learning and to the best of it, I wanted to share one of my courses on AI, which is uh, you can use the code Bhopal, B-H-O-P-A-L and that comes free of course for you all just in case you guys are keen you can use this course and you get certified instantly it's a one hour course on uh, basics of artificial intelligence for beginners available on udemy although it is 1280 rupees you get free of course with the use of the code p h o p a l right and also i would be happy to share about my book Basics of Artificial Intelligence and Machine Learning. It's available at 30% off with the coupon code AI offer on notionpress.com. And uh, if you directly, you can even order from Amazon, you can order from Flipkart, and online available everywhere. So, most welcome. Just in case you guys are interested in training on uh, basics of AI and machine learning in your school as per the CBSC guidelines. You are most welcome to contact me on this number 9335358916 and I shall share the details and the requisites and would be happy to come to your school and deliver the sessions. Thank you so very much and God bless you all.